Hello my soccer universe. Well, while I'm having a Premier League background there and wearing a Liverpool jersey here, I decided I'll show you a Dutch jersey that I got at the beginning of 2020. Yeah, makes a whole lot of sense. But yeah, um, I also decided that uh, before I show you this Dutch jer jersey, I wanted to do a jersey review before the end of the year, but you know, the end of the year comes close and uh, there is some action. I also want to take a little bit of a break and I want to prepare a few closing top 10 videos that you always get on this channel. Namely, I'm going to prepare the top 10 jerseys that I got. It was probably the five worst that I got. I, I, I was thinking of doing some, something like that. Then the top 10 jerseys for me of 2020. And of course, the top 10 moments of 2020. And maybe there will be other top 10s uh, coming, but those are the ones that I'm looking forward to. And also the top 10 I'm really planning on, not sure if it will, but there might be a new year, the top 10 jerseys that I wanna get for the next year. So that might be an interesting one as well. So, well, let's look at the jersey that I wanna show you. It's an Ajax jersey from the 97, 98 season. Uh, that I got this, uh, yeah, actually a year ago, roughly, uh, from my brother Wolfgang. It is his Ajax jersey. Um, the reason I got it because he was about to become a father. He needed to have space in his apartment. He knows I like jerseys, and he gave me basically all the jerseys, most of the jerseys that he didn't have any use for yet anymore, and I took them gladly for free. And this is an absolute classic. Um, 97, 98, this was Ajax already going on a, uh, a downward. I mean, 96, they made the Champions League final. In 97, I think they were still in the semis when they lost out to Juve. And I'm not sure, 9, 9, 98, maybe they made it to the quarters or something, something like that. But, you know, it was not that a big time of Ajax anymore, although Louis van Gaal was still there. I have to say, this is a really, really nice jersey, but it has a few quirks. The one thing that I find the quirkiest thing is the, on the bottom, this Ajax School of Excellence, which doesn't make any, any sense. I mean, maybe because you took the jersey in, this, this was put there. Other than that, it has what was back then. You had the four red um, bands on the sleeve cuffs, where it actually now says on the top, and this was typically for this Umbro Design Ajax here. Oh, too much light, but maybe camera will pick it up it says here Ajax same thing on the other sleeve um, I really like the color actually uh, it's very flimsy and this material here is the same thin kind of very plastic material and then you have more of a jersey material here on the sides which you can also make out it has a kind of striping so it has this two sides effect this one here is a little bit stretchy you can see this one doesn't stretch at all. I mean, this is really, really uh, <laughs> straight material. There's nothing on the back. Of course, there's another quirk in there. We have the centered Ajax crest. And I have to say, I really would like to get a modern Ajax jersey from the uh, Adidas range. Uh, I really liked the centered one because it lends itself to design. I actually also like that the sponsor was here on the other side, although it is not a very symmetrical thing. Uh, the modern ones have the sponsor here, which is fine. But you have the crest here, and, and why do you have five crests elongated in the center? This was another thing. I mean, it's cool. It is uh, nice. You know, you have this kind of gradient print, which was uh, probably famous back then. So uh, it's all fine in that sense, but it's a little bit, you know, very 90s. Um, either go for this effect or have this, but I think both together is a little bit much. Uh, if you would ask me still as I said it's a very very fine jersey there and you know not enough with the crest on this tag there's also an Ajax crest on there now the size of this one when my brother got this he was not very old <laughs> 12 13 so this is an M fits me very very tight I mean I'm very happy that 90s jerseys are a little bit wider cut so I can fit in this one but uh, for the reason that this is more pro probably a little bit too tight I love to use it now as a background as my stand-in Ajax jersey when I talk about Eredivisie and Premier League you usually see it where the Spurs jersey is hanging 
right now. Uh, maybe the one thing that breaks a little bit the design is that the umbro here bleeds a little bit red into the side. It's also sewn on, so uh, very interesting jersey. On the on, on the back you also have this gradient print. This is not a straight red. There's a little gradient printed on there to make it on the center. And actually I was wondering, wouldn't it be better? I mean, here we have kind of an Austrian flag here to double up the straps to make it nice. But you know, Austrian flag, I'm from Austria, so that's fine. Uh, also very interesting, yeah, there's another crest. Look at the button here, there's of course the Ajax crest. And in case you didn't know, the Ajax crest is made of 11 lines representing the 11 players on the field. So yeah, the the last thing that I want to say, but I think my other Ajax crest is also, I always wonder, the Ajax crest, when you see it, is always a white background and then you have a darkened, and here it's always, uh, you know, kind of false color. Is this the first monochromatic crest in, in a way where you kind of falsified it? I, I, I don't know, but I think it's a content. I think that this is much more the Ajax crest that we are used to see, the white one, but it's still, it's usually the Ajax is made with a uh, black outline. Anyway, let me know what you think about this jersey. I think it's a really beautiful jersey with just a few quirks, but I'm really happy to have it. I anyway needed a second Ajax uh, home jersey, so I'm very, very glad that I have this one. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and let me know in the comments below what you think about this jersey, if you have any memories attached to it and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye! Thank you.